Hey friends, do you ever start off a conversation and go, this is why I love human design so much? Well, we do a lot of that in the mentorship group because we have a deep appreciation for Ra's material and him bringing in this system to our world through his 4323 and having the wherewithal to, um, I guess, walk through the experience with the voice so that the rest of us can benefit from it. All right. So in our conversation today, we are going to have a conversation about the crystals of consciousness. And I'm just going to take you to, to a, a little bit of a deeper level so that you can see this cleanly as you are manifesting in your life, as you're creating in your life you can start to, to recognize the profound wisdom that human design holds and how actually quite simple manifestation can be when you just allow for what you are designed for to interact with the world. So my last video, I talked about how wanting um, must turn into uh, having only through the communion of the, that frequency or that emotion that's how wanting moves up and communes to having is through understanding the frequency of what it is that you have based off of your wants if that makes sense so if you want something you need to tap into the frequency of it and then once you tap into the frequency of it the manifestation of having it becomes simpler because you've communed with the frequency of what it is that you want. Now, today we're going to talk about the crystals of consciousness and going deeper into this. And, and I, this was brought uh, forth from a response uh, of me watching another video, uh, which I'm going to share in the description below. Okay, so I am giving you this image again comes from the human design science of differentiation book when we talk about the personality crystal and the design crystal so when Ra brought this into our existence one of the things he said was that it's actually not a a, a, a physical crystal however in 2019 there is now solid evidence that there actually is magnetite inside of our brain there are actual crystals inside of our brain. And when we take a look at the personality crystal, as I had indicated in, in the monopole, the soul kind of the awareness, the soul, the essence, whatever you want to call it, kind of just hovers over top of here. Okay. But the pineal gland actually is correlated with these crystals. And that pineal gland sits inside the brain, inside the head center, okay? The pituitary gland is the ajna and the design crystal, okay? So even though the personality doesn't per se live inside of the body, it kind of sits here. I don't even know if I want to call it the soul or not. I feel like there's even a higher soul once you connect with the higher self of the monopole. But that's just my view. So what we want to talk about today is the pituitary, sorry, the pituitary and the pineal glands, okay? And why they're so important to manifestation. When we're looking at this through the lens of crystals. The pineal gland is a part of, you know, that inner vision actually. And what it does is it, it brings us in and out of consciousness. So when you have anesthetic, the pineal gland will shut down and, and put your body into a state of like almost coma like so that you don't feel any pain. And the pituitary gland, which is in the design crystal, this, my friends, is so important because the pituitary gland is actually called the master gland. 
okay, to the endocrine system. So it produces and releases several important hormones that regulate various bodily functions, such as growth, metabolism for your thyroid, reproduction, sacral center, and the actions of other glands in the body, okay? The crystals themselves, this magnetite that they've now found inside our brains, when you are manifesting and you want to manifest or you're not manifesting something, you want to take a look at how are you feeding and nourishing your brain body system? Do you have um, human beings in your life that are toxic, for a lack of a better word? Are you watching things on TV that are toxic? What kind of food are you providing your body? What kind of nourishment are you providing your body? How do you take toxins out of your physical body? These are all things you want to look at because the cognition of the sun earth design, that cognition is how those crystals in the pineal gland and in the pituitary gland they're, they're, they have to come through the brain. They have to be in the brain and they have to live in the brain. And if the brain isn't healthy, those crystals will, you know, for a lack of a better term, maybe have uh, like mold on them or um, like they'll be coated in something that isn't translating the frequency properly. And when I mean translating the frequency, I mean connecting with the neutrality of the consciousness field. And your design along your fractal line to tune into a particular radio station. But if the personality and the design crystal are clogged up, the brain has some kind of you know brain fog, those crystals will not be able to connect with the correct radio frequency. That's why in design, we always begin our deconditioning process with food. Because from zero to, to 30, food is our most important aspect. Now, many of us don't find human design until we're way past 30. So now we have to go back, we have to backtrack and decondition that brain and body so that those crystals can kind of be cleaned off, right? Like I, 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 I look at this and I think like if this had a whole fuzzy LJ mold on it, it wouldn't be able to transmit the energy field that it needs to or bring in the energy field that it needs to. That's why you want to first and foremost go to the cognition. I've talked about this in other videos. That's your first place for you to manifest, okay? Because once the, you clean off those crystals and those crystals are operating correctly and your cognition is forefront in your life, meaning if you have taste or if you have touch, or if you have smell, or you have outer vision, it's clean, it's crisp, and you're actually picking up through that consciousness field, the correct fractal radio station that you're designed to. And then what happens is now the personality crystal that is actually, you know, on your personality side, it's your mind, in, in some terminology in, in human design, Ra called this the awareness factor, right? This is where we become aware because, again, the personality is kind of hovering over the scalp, even though the crystal's in the pineal gland. It's hovering over the scalp, okay? And the whole purpose of that is so that you can have this clean connection with your higher self, your oversoul, uh, the consciousness field, whatever you want to call it, and then be able to bring that into the physical body in a way 
that is correct, clean, and crisp. But it all begins with that design sun earth, that cognition, feeding that correctly through the determination so that the cognition can be clean and crisp. So below there is that video that I that I wanted to share with you because it really shows the process um, more visually better than I can because I am not a video editor. But lean into the fact that manifestation does not, does not have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be complicated. You'll be able to um, manifest correctly as you clean up the brain body system, as you remove all of the barriers, those can be energetic, they can be physical, all those barriers that are in that open and centers, open gates, open channels, you wanna go to those spaces and clean them up because we are moving really quickly um, to a, a time and a space where integrating absolutely everything is the next, the next new earth that's going to be here. And the density of where we are right now with wars and, and, and crazy systems and structures that are falling apart, they all served, they all served their um, purpose in the cross of planning. And now we're leaning into a more lightened, heightened, integrated energy field. And that's why I'm talking to you today, because I really recognize that what Ra gave us, um, I know, I know for sure, because he said it in many of his transmissions. Um, I've spoken to many of the students. He did not, he did not give everything that he was given because he knew humanity couldn't hold space for all of that information. Now we have new people coming up um, in the world that know nothing about human design that are teaching us great things about energetics and moving forward into this new earth. So what do you need to do in order to enhance your manifestation? Well, Understand that your wants can be haves. You can have what you want when you commune with the frequency of whatever it is. Now, again, I'm going to say people are going to tell you in the human design community that human design isn't for manifestation. Uh, bull pucky. Uh, human design is for manifestation. It is for relationships. It is for health and wellness. It is for business building. It is for money making. It is for uh, clarity of purpose because it is the mechanics of the current earth plane that we are in. And when you understand the mechanics, then it becomes really fun because you can have, do, be, whatever it is that your design indicates that you can have, do, and be. So then the next thing, clean up your eating clean up your brain and kind of polish off those crystals that are in there because they are the magnetism. Okay. They're magnetite. There is a magnetism there that is tuning in. And that's why they use crystals um, in TVs. They use crystals in radios. Um, they use crystals in your phone for Wi-Fi. All of it has crystals because that's what carries the frequency. And if your crystals of consciousness, if your brain um, is gummy and glued up and full of algae or uh, whatever it is, then you're not tapping in to the full potential that is available in the consciousness field. Okay. So I hope I, I made sense today. I was kind of all over the place. Um, I have a tendency to do that as a right brain body, right minded person. However, um, drop a comment. Uh, let's have a conversation. And I hope that you, your manifestations are absolutely beautiful.